It is a Tuesday night here in Athens, Georgia, so what does that mean? There are parties. <laughs> so I thought it'd be fun to do a get ready with me, like kind of like what I wear when I go out and to also show my outfit for when I go out so you guys can get ideas and stuff. And I just thought it'd be fun. I wanted to make it like a chatty one. So I'm gonna just get a few sips of my latte and we're good to go. All right, so first things first, I'm the realist and <laughs> I like to put my hair in like a half up, half down or a ponytail of some sort because I hate when my hair is in my face when I'm doing my makeup. It just, it ruins the whole creative process. So we're just gonna, we're just gonna do that. Here is my trusty makeup bag. It's absolutely amazing. La Sport Sack or whatever that brand is. The first thing I've been using, I actually truly love it. I wasn't sure if I'd actually like it, but I'm telling the truth because I love this truth serum. <laughs> I'm hilarious. From Ole Henriksen. Um, I really like, oh my gosh, don't tell me I already need more. This stuff's so expensive. Boost your skin and it just makes me feel so good and so fresh. So I always put this on even before my primer. I've been using this primer foundation combination and I absolutely love it. I'm not even gonna lie. I started using these because I got sent them from Too Faced, but now I literally use them. Like I have a ton of face products like I could use whatever and I choose these so Too Faced sent me the primed and peachy primer and the peach perfect foundation I love how this combination makes my skin look I'm very impressed so I'm gonna start off with this it's called the cooling matte skin perfecting primer and it's literally like a pink color um, but I feel like when you go out it's really nice to actually have your makeup stay on all night because there's nothing worse by the end of the night and your face is just like super greasy, super oily and those late night selfies just don't look too cute if you know what I mean. Then I go in with my Comfort Matte Foundation. It's oil free, 14 hour wear, oil controlling and photo friendly, which we like photo friendly because um, I find myself taking a lot of pictures when I go out. Um, so I'm gonna be using this and my beauty blender. Well, it's actually from EcoTools, but I just like this one better. So I have a spray tan, so I'm trying to match it to my spray tan. Hopefully it's still on my neck. That's always the issue. <laughs> then, of course, I still use my Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer. I simply just haven't found a concealer that I like better. Like, I just haven't. Um, it's amazing. It's the only concealer I use because thankfully um, Accutane's amazing and I don't get acne anymore. Knock on wood, oh my god. So yeah, I just do the two big triangles because I'm super obnoxious, but I just love the look of a bright under eye. Like I don't really care if it's obnoxious, like I love it. I do definitely need a new setting spray because Brooke said that like her setting spray actually like works. Like she's convinced that if she doesn't use setting spray, like it, it's good. So I feel like I need to start using setting spray because I feel like that would just be the final touch, especially when you're going out and you're gonna be dancing and stuff because that's what I do when I go out. <laughs> and I'm using my Revlon Color Stay powder. Um, I'm not really super specific about powders, to be honest. Like I just need it to set my foundation and that's just about it. Um, but I definitely do love the MAC Mineralized Skin Finishes. This does the job, to be honest, so. And it's cheaper. As for the brows, I use my handy dandy Bobbi Brown Perfectly Defined Longwear Brow Pencil. I love this. You guys know I've talked about it a ton. I love how on one side you can brush out your eyebrows and the other side is where the actual pencil is. But I love the pencil because it's angled. So it's like literally amazing and it's perfect for filling in your brows. I love a good bold brow. I have pretty thick eyebrows that actually need to be waxed very soon. <laughs> Stat, actually. Um, boom. That's super crazy. Now let's blend. <laughs> now I'm actually going to use the bronzer that I've been holding this video. This is the NARS Laguna bronzer. I recently went back to it. It's always a good old favorite. Taking this brush that I've literally had forever. It's from Sedona Lace. It's the FB01 brush. It's like a huge fan brush, but I love applying bronzer with it. Um, so sometimes I'll go for like more of an intense contour. Um, when I'm going out, I definitely put on more bronzer than during the day um, just because of pictures and flash. Like, there's nothing worse than your face being so pale compared to everyone else's because of your foundation or whatever it may be. So I always um, go pretty hard on the bronzer when I go out. And hey, I'm being honest with you guys. This is a going out get ready with me. So that's what we're doing. Like I said, going hard. <laughs> I'm using the Too Faced Sweetie Pie Radiant Matte Blon Blonzer. Blonzer! 
bronzer infused with peach and sweet fig cream. Um, but I'm using it as a blush because it does have hints of pink in it. Um, and I kind of want to go for more of a sultry glow. So if I could find my brush, my blush brush, Real Techniques blush brush, this bronzer slash blush, I'm gonna apply this kind of to the apples of my cheeks, but I'm not gonna smile because I still wanna kinda go along with the rest of the bronzer. Then once all that's applied, as you can see, it's kind of harsh. I just take my powder brush and blend all of it together so it looks as natural as possible. I'm talking as natural as possible. Okay, that looks really funny. Clear brow gel. I'm also gonna take this clear brow gel from European Wax Center and set my brows because I forgot to do that. I don't always do it, but if I remember, it's nice because then you don't have to worry about like eyebrow hairs moving and I my eyebrows are pretty thick so they tend to do that. <laughs> Most of you guys know this, but if you don't know, I have eyelash extensions. They are life-changing. They're the best investment I've ever made because they make my eyes look super big and they're really small so I like that and I never have to wear mascara and when I wake up in the morning and like I don't want to put on makeup I feel somewhat put together um so I have eyelash extensions I just got them refilled last week so they're still pretty full um so all I'm doing is taking this lash spoolie that I have specifically for this and just running it through gently and brushing my lashes um kind of giving the effect of mascara just to make sure they're nice and plump. I don't really like to put on eyeshadow to be honest because with eyelash extensions it's just not fun to like try and take it off afterwards and like not ruin your lashes. I don't know I just haven't been into eyeshadow lately um, but I still feel like this is like a going out look. Sometimes I'll add eyeliner but today I'm not. Um, as for lips I like to go for more of a bolder lip because um, I'm just funky and when I go out I'm like lipstick duh. So I just got this lip product from a physician's formula this is called the healthy lip velvet finish and this is in the color dose of rose um and i love it i love the applicator of this like oh my gosh it is so nice so we're just gonna put this on hopefully i did that okay in the viewfinder <laughs> but yeah it's just a nice fun fuchsia pink color and I like it a lot. I think it makes the whole look pop. I find that if my hair is straight and then I go into a frat house and it's super sweaty and humid in there, then my hair will automatically grow like this and it's just super gross. But I find if I curl my hair, my hair stays a little bit more normal and it and it's the the curly hair usually lasts longer than straight hair is what I'm trying to say. So a lot of you guys ask me how I curl my hair and I just use this curling iron right here. It is the Cortex 4-in-1 curling wand. I have had this for ages, like the exact same one. I believe this is a one inch wand. This one came with four different barrels, hence four in one. Um, but I'm using this one so it's like like this big of size um, and it's my favorite it's my go-to and yeah so I just split my hair off into two sections and I curl away so to curl my hair there's a few things I need besides the wand I need hairspray naturally and this is the Garnier Fructis flexible control hairspray and I like it because it's anti-humidity and it's pretty humid in Georgia not as bad as Florida but still a little bit always got to have a brush I use the wet brush paddle and my computer to watch Netflix while I curl my hair it's just my routine, okay? You know, I love it. Right now, I'm gonna watch some 90210 because I've already watched all of the seasons twice, but why not go for a third? I literally forget the things that happen, okay? All right, we got that ish done. I'm gonna spray it all with hairspray. And then I usually just like to kind of scrunch it up like this. And these are a little bit of bigger curls, but by the time I am out and about, these will be nice and fallen just how I want them. Um, but yeah, my hair looks extra shiny today. I don't know how that happened, but thank you, hair god. <laughs> now it is time to pick out an outfit. I actually don't know what I'm wearing, but I think I want to wear my black thigh-high boots that I got from Target because I got them specifically for like going out in college because like I don't care if they get dirty since they were so inexpensive. 
but I don't really know what I'm gonna wear them with, so I'm gonna have to base my outfit out around that. But uh, yeah, let's let's go to the closet. So I'm just about done getting ready. I'm gonna show you guys my outfit. But before that, the final touch is a perfume. This is my going out perfume for some reason. I feel like it's more of a nighttime scent. This is the Byredo Rose Noir perfume. If I can focus it. Um, I absolutely love this stuff, so I'm gonna spray it on. And I like to spray it on behind my hair and like on my neck kind of, so it goes with my hair when it flows. <laughs> So you guys know how the makeup and hair went, but I added these earrings that I just got that I'm obsessed with from Princess Polly. I have been wanting star hoop earrings forever and I got these on Princess Polly. So cute, I'm really into stars right now if you can't tell. I've also got this star necklace on from Brandy Melva. I don't know if it's too much stars, but I like the look of everything. Yellow nails, like always, and my daily um, rings. So it's a little bit chilly outside, and once you're inside, you're fine and you're warm, but walking from place to place can definitely get you a little chilly. So I'm wearing this off the shoulder, like cropped sweater thing from Princess Polly. I'm kind of going for an all black look tonight, as you guys will see shortly. Um, as for my purse, I'm going to be using this one that I just got from Princess Polly as well. I am obsessed with it, and like if I wear it as a crossbody, like my bag stays right here. So if, like I want to dance and stuff, it stays. Like it's not like super floppy. I don't know how to explain it, but it's this awesome like faux fur and it's got lots of room. Not that I need a lot with me when I go out. Honestly, sometimes I'll just put my phone and like my keys and stuff in my pocket, but I really like this bag. So I'm going to wear it tonight and I'm going to be the mom that carries stuff. I'm just wearing this black jean skirt that's kind of become my life. I wear it literally all the time. It's from Topshop. I love it a lot. Um, there's nothing really to it. I didn't want to wear a belt because if I did wear a belt, it was going to be silver and black. And I'm wearing gold earrings, so I figured I'll just leave it at that. Then I'm wearing the knee-high boots I was talking about, or thigh-high boots, I guess. These are from Target. I love them. They tie on the back, and they're not heeled or whatever, but that's fine with me. I still love them a lot. And yeah, that's the outfit for tonight. So that wraps it up for today's Get Ready With Me. I'm about to head out. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you wanna see more, make sure to comment down below along with any other videos that you wanna see on my channel. And I'll see you guys very soon for my next video. Oh, make sure to subscribe and follow me on Instagram, of course. <laughs> okay, bye guys.